what's up beauties and cuties welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is zelda nadine make sure you hit like subscribe and turn on that bell notification if you are new so you can know more information about this channel in the beauties and cuties gang listen i was down for the count first babe was in the hospital it was a big ordeal so and then on top of that i ended up getting the stomach flu which prolonged for a week okay it was the worst sickness that i've ever when i say ever dealt with i feel like i've ever i feel like i was dying okay so i made the decision that i'm not going to upload anything do anything i just want to recover i want to make sure everything is okay here and so now i'm back and i missed you guys since i'm back i was like let's do something fun something cute because green is trending right now you know that is the new spring color everything green everything bright so i said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and do that and just play and make up you guys know the drill beauties and cuties if you want to know how i came up with this beautiful green look just keep on watching let's get into this makeup i'm going to use the morphe fluid foundation using my juvia's place foundation brush and just give y'all a heads up this is going to be speed ramped through the whole video so be prepared i am going to use my beauty blender by elf cosmetics to press that foundation into the skin evenly and then i'm going to use my part shape tape to highlight under the eyes and just do the essential highlights the cupid's bow the chin and i'm going to just go ahead and blend that out i'm not going to double conceal this time so that's why i'm using the lighter color and try to make this as sheer as possible where there is no lines now i'm going to take this same concealer and do a couple dots down the nose using my pinky finger to blend it out and my mini beauty blender by elf that came into the chipotle collection and bluff that out now i'm going to use the elf cosmetic contour palette which i am loving but i'm not going to go with the darker shade i just want to do a little natural dark tint on the brow bone and by the cheekbones and then i'm going with a lighter shade of brown to contour the nose so you guys know i usually like to use a darker color on my nose but this time i wanted a little bit more natural i'm going to take my fenty setting powder and honey and go ahead and start to bake do a light bake and then i'm going to use banana powder on my nose and let it sit now i'm going to cover the eyelid with the elf putty eye primer dusting off my setting powder just a little bit and then going into this alexis stone palette so i'm going in with the yellow color and we're about to talk about this palette honey now i love this palette but the yellow doesn't show up on this nubian skin so i had to go with the juvia's place chocolates palette just to be able to get some depth in my crease and then you can really see a little bit of the yellow so if you're going to use the yellow color that's in that alexis stone palette you might want to go in with the eye primer that is more on a white shade than what i did with the neutral now i'm going in with a fluffy brush just to buff out that dark color that's in the crease and bringing it down to the lid Using my P. Louise base in room or two, I'm going to do a half cut crease on the eye. And honestly, I wasn't really trying to do a cut crease. It just ended up flowing that way, y'all. Sometimes that happens when you're doing your face. You have one intention and then it totally changed and it turned out fine. So I'm cool with that. I'm going to use a dense brush to buff out some of that eyeshadow base so it won't be too sticky, but it blends in with the eyeshadow that's the one thing you got to remember when you use that particular base now i'm going to use the green shade in the alexis stone palette using my dense elf cosmetics eyeshadow brush and i'm going to put that color all over the lid usually using the alexis stone palette the shadows are very intense but because i used that neutral color i wanted to kind of mute the colors down a little bit more to give more of a little bit of a softer color to really pop that eye out i'm going to use the chipotle palette by elf cosmetics which i love and use a detailed brush and go from the tear duct halfway into that green darker green shade 
just to give a little bit more of a pop and a shimmer which this palette is so buttery if you don't have it get it next i'm going in with a nude pencil just to brighten my under eyes i did do my eyeliner off camera using the wet and wild liquid eyeliner and then i'm going back into the juvia's place chocolates palette and i'm going to smoke my under eye so i've been obsessing about nude eyeliner recently and I don't know if that's gonna be my new summer eyeliner just to give that doughy effect in the eye, but I'm obsessed. Now I'm going in with my Milk Mascara just to give my lashes a little bit of color. You guys know I use a little bit of mascara and I did my eyelashes off camera. These are size 22s. Using my Micro Smooth, I'm going to set my foundation all over the face using a fluffy brush by morphe and for blush i'm going to use the odie but goodie tarts party and using the jacqueline hill blush brush and i'm going to give a little bit of color in these cheeks honestly i forgot how pretty this color is i haven't used it in so long just because i've been using different blushes but this is such a soft pretty pink now i'm going in with the revolutions highlighter and i'm going to just highlight the bridge of the nose and the tip of the nose i'm not doing above the cheekbone i'm not doing any of that i just want to accentuate the nose and then i'm going to use kimby for my lips by juvia's place and this is honestly my first time using it since i've gotten the collection this is like a dusty rose color so if you're looking for like more of a dusty rose for your summertime go ahead and pick that up i'm going to use stila in the center of my lips and this is in the color bokey it's b-o-c-i so don't quote me on how i pronunciated it but i'm going to do a little bit of a lighter color in the center and beauties this is the final look i hope that you enjoyed this video i know it was super speed ramped but we got through it make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you think about this look or just to say hi and i will see you at the next video bye